Hey guys, good morning. I'm gonna be in like a rush now because Anae has a doctor's appointment at 9.30 this morning and it's already 9 o'clock so I have like 15 minutes to get everybody ready. <laughs> So I gotta get out the door and I'll let you guys know what time I got out the door in a minute. 3.18 and I'm out the door. I did pretty good for myself. And Archer didn't even throw a fit this morning. I had to wake him up. So we did good. Yay! So we're here. There's a girl's right here. She's not too happy. She wants me to get her. Do you want to get down? Here, let me get you. I do my day. She wants the strap to the. Of course, she wants the strap. That's all she wants. Of course, she wants the strap. <laughs> and little boy wants me to make a G. Want me to make a letter G? Yes. Oh my gosh! Let's see if I can do this with no hands. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me sit your sister. Straight. Okay. Okay. Letter G. I have to do it so it's facing him. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. What are you doing, on Anae? Stop, on Anae. Stop. <laughs> no, don't bite me. Oh my gosh. Ow. <laughs> oh, gosh, you guys. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Ouch. <laughs> She's like not cooperating. There. I made a G, but it's upside down. Eight. Well, you have to erase it first. Mama. Yeah. I need to. Yeah. 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 She's having a seizure. Mama! Eight! Eight! Oh, baby. Eight! Eight! Just... Okay, you have to erase it first, baby, and I can do the H. Hold on, I'm tending to your sister really quick. <clears throat> you okay, baby? It's been lasting a few few seconds. Mama eight. Mm, my baby. Eight. There she is. Eight. You okay? Eight. You okay? Eight. Oh, you don't like that. Eight. Erase it first. Eight. Erase it eight. first. Yeah, she still has the ear infection. But yeah, they came in and checked her ears right now, and she's doing good. The seizure stopped so she's doing good but now she's like super tired because <laughs> they get that way when they, after they have seizures so but yeah they're seeing what what they can do now so she already has the appointment with the ENT next week but they're I think she's trying to see what she can do for right now um, so before we go to the end so we're home and she had another seizure right now so this would be the fifth one I think I don't even like count them anymore you guys like oh, I just want this ear infection to finally go away they're putting her on another antibiotic well they're putting her on an ear infection antibiotic uh, just until next week on Tuesday because that's when she's gonna be with the ENT to get the tubes in her ears because no medication is working and yeah if she's in the ear is, is still red and swollen yeah, swelled up it. you can't do it what happened There's one. Oh, you're so sad. Okay, I'm gonna help you right now, baby. Hold on. I'm coming, my love. My poor baby. He's so sad. He can't do something. Um, anyway. So, yeah. And she's also gonna be taken off of the Depico sprinkles and put on a different medication. So, hopefully that will help. Are you gonna clap? Yeah. So, I need to go pick up that stuff uh, in a little bit. And then we're gonna go have some Easter fun. We're gonna go to an Easter party kind of sort of like a public party thing so yay I'm so excited <laughs> let me go help Archer what happened you can't do it is it falling down yes it keeps falling down he's so sad you guys let me put the big one on the bottom <laughs> and then you can put this one yeah and then these two yeah 
And then this one? Yes. And then this one? Yeah. And then this one? Yeah. And then this one? Oh, hey, Mama, you hit it. You gotta be careful. Again, again. Again, again. Okay. Again, again, again. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> like that? Okay, I'm this. Whoa, don't fall down. Yeah, let, me, let me help it. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Okay. Your tower? A bump it? Okay, bump it. This one, your car? Yes. Boop! Yay! Again! Okay. So we're here. The eggs and the bunny and all the games. What happened, baby? I don't know. They're gone. We'll have to go, we'll have to go buy some, okay? Now we're at Walmart. He's pushing me. Anna is at home with daddy. Stop pushing, buddy. She's so tired. She was about to fall asleep until I was like, no, you gotta drink your bottle first. <laughs> right now she's chugging her bedtime bottle and then she's gonna go to sleep. Good morning, you guys. I'm washing the sheets because Archer leaked last night. His diaper leaked. And uh, Anae is sleeping right there. I need to, when she wakes up, I need to get her bedding to wash as well. So I'm washing our sheets. These haven't been washed yet. I just took them off and just put them in a pile right here. But I'm washing the waterproof cover and our blankets. But I want to find, because I'm going get to our, get ourselves new pillows. We've had these for... Mm, how long have we had them for? Like almost a year maybe? So, um, yeah. I mean, I wash them every month or so, but um, I actually want to get waterproof. I wonder if they make waterproof covers for your pillows. So yeah, that way they, maybe they can last a little bit longer so I don't have to be washing them. Like I can just wash the cover. I don't know. Like let me know in the comments down below if they make waterproof pillowcase covers. Yeah, I don't even know if that's a thing. Yeah, <laughs> if they do or not, let me know. Um, maybe they'll make them last longer so I don't have to wash them as often. I know you have to replace them every so often. I have to look it up. I can't remember, but I know you're supposed to replace your pillows every so often. But yeah, anyway, Anae's asleep. Archer destroyed the bed. Excuse the way I look. I look like a hot mess. But anyway, Anae is on a new medication. I don't know if I mentioned that yesterday, but they put her on a new seizure medication. They took her off the Depico sprinkles and they put her on another one, which I don't know what it's called. So something else that starts with a D. So we're going to see if that works. Um, so yeah, we talked to the neurologist and her neurologist, and he said that, of course, since she has the ear infection, that um, 
that that's the reason why she's constantly having seizures because whenever she gets sick that's the only thing that's been triggering her seizures is when she gets sick somehow like if it's a cold or she had the flu at one point um which is like a few months back she had the flu if you guys remember that uh she was in the hospital for a week it was so draining um but um yeah so she wasn't she had the flu she has already had i think four ear infections which is why we have an appointment with the ENT next week to get tubes in her ears because if she's going to be getting ear infections like how I was when I was a child, I would get ear infections all the time. What is it, baby? Oh, here's the queen's nose. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I passed that on to her. She just probably is just more prone to ear infections. Archer has only had one or two in his lifetime, I think. I think only one. I think he's only had one in his lifetime. And it wasn't even that bad. It was a minor ear infection. Um, but... I found out he's going to be getting ear infections like hi how I was when I was a child. Um, I would want to get tubes in her ears. I don't know if I ever got tubes. Probably not because my hearing is not that great. Like, I don't remember. I, don't, I can't tell which. I think it's this. No, I think it's this ear where I can't hear as well as the other ear. I guess I'll hear, but not as well. And I know ear infections can cause your, your hearing to not be that great. Especially if you don't get, in, if you don't get it fixed. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on all this, you guys. Like, seriously, correct me if I'm wrong. But... That's what I've read up on and stuff like that, that if you don't, um, that it could cause some damage if you don't, um, intervene and try to, you know, help it out and stuff like that. So, yeah, she's already had the ear infection for a month. All the medications that she's been taking are not working. So, her ear infection is still, and it's only in the left, her left ear. So, yeah, the, but she, right now she's on another antibiotic. Well, she, this is the antibiotic that she was on the second time. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, Suprix? Suprax? Super, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's the one that she's on right now. So that way it can hopefully keep the fevers down and, and hold us off for a week until we go to see the ENT. So we're seeing the ENT for her ear infection, or for, yeah, for her ears, and also for her tongue and lip tie to get that fixed as well. Although her specialist, her geneticist specialist, did tell me that if her tongue can touch the back of her um, top teeth, then she does, then it's not going to affect her speech. Um, that's what he told me. So, but I still want to get it fixed because, obviously because her um, speech therapist recommended it. Uh, so, and of course I'm going to take her geneticist into consideration as well, of uh, what he said. So I'm just going to talk to the ENT, obviously they know more about this, you know, and the speech therapist obviously knows more about tongue and lip tie and stuff like that and how it affects stuff like that. Um, but what I'm more concerned about, I'm not necessarily concerned about her speech, although she is going to have a harder time talking, uh, with the condition that she has, not necessarily the, the tongue and lip tie, although that could play a factor in making it worse. But I'm more concerned about her eating, her eating um, with her tongue and lip tie. So that's why I'm going to bring all that stuff up because the condition that she has, the chromosome condition that she has, already causes speech delay and eating problems. So if I can fix her tongue and lip tie to hopefully maybe help those areas out a little bit more, that's what I'm going to do. So, I mean, if she was just a typical child and if I was told that, oh no, the tongue tie is not going to affect her, her speech and stuff like that, then I probably won't get it fixed, depending on what the ENT says. So, of course, I'm going to take everybody, all the doctors in, into consideration. Yeah, I just need to get the rest of the house cleaned because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing, doing laundry, I'm putting laundry away, I'm organizing, I'm cleaning, I'm doing all this stuff Mama. because Easter's tomorrow Mama. and we're going out of town Mama. tomorrow, so Mama. I'd like to come back Mama. to a clean Mama. house. Mama. So, that's Mama. what I'm doing. What is wrong with you, silly boy? I'm super annoying. You're annoying? Nine. Nine? It's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten eggs. Aw, oh, yeah, you have ten eggs. He's, I think he has a small cold. He has like a runny nose, and he's and been coughing a little bit, so I'm trying to keep him away from his sister. Far away from his sister, because I don't want her catching what he has, because if she catches what he has, she's going to have a bad seizure. Little boy. <laughs> if you guys have been following us long enough, you know that if Anae catches any kind of cold, she'll have like a seizure that won't stop, and then we have to take her to the emergency room, so. Hi, Papa. you kicking up. Yeah, <laughs> So we're 
eating some tacos tonight. Leftover tacos from Tuesday. Or just having nuggets. And just an easy dinner tonight. Some leftovers. So we have a long day tomorrow. Long day. And Bob's gonna go to bed early. He has to go to Walmart first and then he's gonna go to bed early.